baby guys she reacts here and welcome back to my channel but if it's your first time here then it's just welcome today we're going to be getting into jocelyn's cabaret new york season four episode nine however before we get into our review i need you guys to do me a big favor what are you waiting for huh what are you waiting for what are you waiting for in episode 9, it's a continuation of Jocelyn lashing out on the police. And then she starts attacking her so-called husband. Natural at this point is just trying to escape and get out the way so she doesn't get hurt. However, back in New York, Mac Chuck gets naked again because she was just so happy about the perform. She said, should I get naked? And the girls are like, yeah. So the drinks are flowing. <laughs> Mac Chuck is twerking on wet, wet, naked. Egypt is trying to be nice to Daisy, but Daisy wants an apology. She's like, girl, for you even get in my face and try to get some of this kitty cat. She said, I need you to apologize for attacking me. So Egypt's like, I'm not doing that. So they start arguing <laughs> and Egypt starts to nut up a little bit. So at this point, her and Wet Wet just walk out of the room. Snowball feels like this is all her fault. Meanwhile, Wet Wet is giving Egypt words of encouragement and hugs her. But Egypt, <laughs> Egypt, she appreciates the words of encouragement and she likes Wet Wet she does. But she feel like she's musty and her breath stink and she really don't want to be hearing all that right now. <laughs> then Wet Wet cries when she's talking about her kid that has special needs, which was sad. And she was like, you know, I didn't ask for this. And I was just like, oh, Wet. I have a sibling that has a kid that's special needs. And I witnessed her try so hard to make sure that everything's okay and that the kid has what he needs. But it is hard and it is stressful. I witnessed it firsthand. So I definitely felt wet, wet on that part. And they then cut back downstairs. We then see Lucky ask Ginger Cheeks if she's still on punishment by Mac Truck. And Mac Truck said she's not on punishment anymore. She was like on 24-hour punishment. And it's all because Ginger Cheeks is a brand ambassador. And Mac Truck asked her if she could um, give Ginger Cheeks one of her wigs so she can promote it. Ginger Cheeks said no. And Mac Truck didn't like that. So now they're mad at each other. Then after this, they started arguing all night. And I'm like, it's clear that these girls have feelings for each other still. And they just don't know how to express themselves. However, I feel Mac Chuck because I feel like if Ginger Cheeks just stopped drinking and just started, you know, talking and make sure she was like sober, then they could have had a conversation. Plus, I feel like at the end of the day, Ginger Cheeks got a man at home. Mac Chuck got a girl at home. Why y'all even fooling around with each other? Like, this shouldn't be happening at all. Y'all both got someone at home, even if the person at home is okay with it. If I know me and this particular person I'm in a house with got history, I wouldn't dare touch them at all. I know there's a serious moment, but when Egypt was hugging Ginger Cheeks and said, you still love that girl, don't you? And I was just hollering because I'm like, why is Egypt like this? And Egypt was just laying it down like she was the man, y'all. Like, them words was hitting Ginger Cheeks different. And next thing you know, Jenna Cheeks is looking at Egypt in the eyes and she like, child, I don't want to go down to Egypt. Like she was feeling it real bad. I'm like, Egypt, you have to stop. Like this girl's in her feelings. She's drunk. She's vulnerable. Please. What you're telling her is the truth, but it's the way you saying it. It's the swag. It's how you're saying it. It's your delivery. You're going to make this girl get up out of her drawers. Like, please, please stop. So then in the next scene, Skates, Lucky, Snowball, and Mac Chuck are all talking in the hot tub. And the alcohol is flowing, so it's getting real gay. They just all flirt with each other, looking at each other's boobs, talking about, you know, who's DL, who's this. I was like, goodness. It's like, it's given they're all just about to hump on each other this entire time in the hot tub. They then ask Mac Chuck how she feel about gender cheeks and the whole situation. Mac Chuck says she's good and she's over it. They then ask Lucky how they can make her feel comfortable since Jocelyn keeps treating her any kind of way in front of them. Lucky pretty much says she's good. She doesn't care to fit in with the rest of them. <laughs> I'm like, okay, there it is. Dang, just shut that down real quick. We then cut to Egypt's bedroom and gender cheeks come in and she thanks... Um, <laughs> And she thanks Egypt for being so nice to her and for the kind words. And I couldn't help but to laugh because Egypt was just spitting that game, y'all. She was just like, you know, you don't need her, you know? You love her, but she don't love you the way you love her. You got to leave that behind. Like, she sounded like one of them ninjas off the street that's just trying to get up in your drawers. <laughs> I don't even think she realized she was doing it. I think she was just being her true, authentic, nice self. 
But the words was hitting Ginger Cheeks different. She was just looking at Egypt like, ooh, girl, like, you about to get it. The moral of the story is, if someone shows you who they are, believe them, and don't try to change them because it's pointless. So then Ginger Cheeks asks Egypt about her situation. And this is when Egypt goes into details, trigger warning, Egypt goes into details on her past relationship that was a domestic violence relationship. And it was with the man that she met when she was 14. One day they got into it real bad and he ran up on her. But she thought he was going to stop because one, he was so big. And two, she had a knife in her hand. However, he didn't stop, and as a result, he was unalive because she hit a major artery. And all this happened when she was 19, so as a result, she did five years for what she done, of course. So that was sad. I was not expecting that story. I was like, whoa. So she did cry a little bit, and her and Ginger Cheeks did hug. But after they had that little, you know, sentimental moment, Ginger Cheeks is trying to smash Egypt to get back at Mac truck, but Egypt won't have it. Next week, Jocelyn's out of jail. <laughs> Abby left due to a family emergency. And the four girls are back from Miami. Natural and Danny go back and forth. And the girls hype Jocelyn up after being let out of prison. You guys let me know what y'all think about this episode. Please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you can keep up when I'm doing the channel. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Bye.